Hi people, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Welcome to another tutorial of the Unreal Engine. Now, this is going to be a complete season. It's going to have different tutorials of a lot of stuff, like how to make particles, how to work with them, how to work with textures, materials, high resolution textures, uh, how to work with meshes, uh, characters, weapons, how to import all those things into your project. Now, first of all, uh, I have already made the, the mesh that we're going to be working on this tutorial. This tutorial is going to be on how to change the hands on the first person project. Now, first thing I want to say about this project is that the mesh that we have uh, with the little shotgun on the hands, uh, that shotgun is already on the same mesh of the hands. So it's only one item only is the not it does not have two different meshes is everything in only one so uh i made the mesh only with the hands because in the future i'm going to teach you guys how you can add pick up weapons and how you can attach those weapons into the hands so i'll be working with those tutorials in the future so right now let's open up our unreal engine i already have open here and I'm gonna choose the first person blueprint and I'm gonna create I'm gonna put a name here it's gonna be FPS hands um, tutorial tutorial there we go so I'm gonna create this project let's wait until it loads everything and creates all the files for the project right here on blender as you can see this is the hand uh, that we'll be importing into the Unreal Engine I made this one so I'm gonna take all those files and upload them into the internet so you can download the files and use it for your project for your tutorials so right here we have the unreal engine now as you can see the hands and the shotgun is only one mesh so in the time that we take off uh, this mesh from from here and we put the other one we will only have the hands so let's start with this and let's first of all let's create a new folder it's gonna be FPS hands uh, hands folder let's put that in the name so inside here I'm gonna create another one it's gonna be animations and the other one's gonna be blueprints now in the animations folder I'm gonna insert only the animation of the idol is the hand moving like if you were breathing or something and the blueprints is gonna have the blueprint animation so let's import our mesh inside our mesh we will have uh, from the X uh, BX file we will have the mesh and also the animation so let me search for it it's right here as you can see it's an FBX file and right here we have the texture so let's import mesh Make sure that you have these checks box on for the mesh and the skeletal and also the import animations checkbox. Now click on import all. Let's wait until it finishes. And right here we have our material, we have our mesh, we have two animations, and we have the skeleton and the texture. So I'm gonna delete this one, it comes for default because this one is not going to be used and I'm going to put this one on the folders animation move here and the animations folder now uh, we need to create a blend space because uh, in the future we will add more animations uh, for the shooting if you crouch and you know different stuff if you reload and all those kinds of stuff that's why I'm telling you guys that you need to create an animations folder because all those animations will be inside now let's create a blend space right click click on animation blend space 1d and you're going to choose the skeleton of your hands in this case is fps hand skeleton i'm going to put a uh, name here it's going to be blend space 1d and now let's get inside to the blend space let's double click on it and let's choose our animation right here we have the hands now this is the animation that we'll be inserting into 
the engine so we can see its idle animation. As you can see on the right here, it has a little preview. So I'm just going to put it right here. There we go. That will be our animation for the idle. Now I'm going to put on the label speed and I'm going to click on apply parameter changes. Now everything is good right now. Let's just click on save. Let's close this window. And now let's go to our blueprints folder. Now on our blueprints folder, uh, right click inside the folder, click on blueprints and no and on animation my bad animation and click on animation blueprint now on animation blueprint click on the skeleton that we are using that is the same one this fps hand skeleton click on ok and let's put here anim uh, blueprint there we go so now let's double click on that one so we can open it up and from here we will start adding the functions to make the animation work on the project so from here we need to add a state a state machine so just right click and type state machine or add state machine now I'm gonna put names and the state and okay state and there we go so now we're gonna we're gonna link this up with a final animation pose. And now let's double click on the state. And from here on this little entry that we have here, let's just drag it around and let's click on state. And this one's gonna be idle. Now from here on the idle, inside the idle, we'll be telling uh, the engine what blend space is gonna be using and how much time it's gonna be running. So from here, just double click put here get uh, okay no it will find the speed variable because I haven't created so we need to add a new vari variable it's gonna be a float and let's put here speed and from here now we can go back inside right click type get speed and from here we just need to drag our blend space into the idle state there we go and we link this up let's check that it's working yeah it's working so now we can close this one and now we have everything set up already for our hands for our FPS hands that we made so now we need to change this one for the one that we just made and how do we do that just click on this one or you can also go to your to your uh, uh, to your project to your folder the first person blueprint folder and choose here blueprints and double click on first person character that is the uh, this object that you have right here on your viewport now double click on that one let's go to the viewport on the top and from here you can see that we are only uh, looking to the hands and the cameras and nothing else so from here just click on the hands and as you can see on the mesh it says skeleton mesh it has already this one so we need to change it by the one that we just imported into the unreal engine and that one is FPS hands so now that we have that inside that we can't see it because it's too little right now Let's put the animations for it. That is the one that we made. That is the first. Uh, where is it? Oh, right here. Anim Blueprint. Now, Anim Blueprint is the one that we made in the content browser. If you don't remember, it's this one, as you can see. So, that is the one that you need to choose. So now we can uh, scale this a little bit, so we can we can make it larger. <laughs> Okay, there we go, a little bit more. There we go, and now let's pull it up and let's rotate it. There we go. So now let's move it a little bit to, let's put it back. Let me see how good it looks. Okay, so now let's hit the play so we can see how it looks. Oh, there we go. I just need to pull down a little bit 
the, the hands. This is one thing that you guys got to be working on is how, you know, to uh, the place where you're going to put the mesh so it looks nice. There we go. And that's better. Now, it wasn't so hard as you guys saw. So, we just need for the for the hands is to attach a weapon to it. So, for that, I will make it on another tutorial. I'm not going to make it on this one. It takes a lot of time. Uh, hope you guys like the tutorial. The next tutorial I'm going to make is going to be about how to work with third person projects. And that one is uh, how you can change your character. And also include the animations or you can use the animations uh, from the engine, the one that comes with the projects. Um, there, there is also another animation on the marketplace. It's a starter pack. It's a basic animations. You can also download that one. You can use those animations also with the character that we create and import to the original engine. Uh, it's gonna be another easy tutorial. So, hope you guys uh, like this one. Hope to see you in the other one. This is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. If you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And if you need anything, just comment on the box below. Bye bye. Next, for our second tutorial of the Unreal Engine, we will be working on a third person view project. We will show how you can import a character and use the animations set that we have on the Unreal Engine and the Marketplace. There is a starter kit for basic animations on the Marketplace. Please download the starter kit for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.